welcome to Aviation 101 with Laura. One of the biggest questions I get from my viewers is for tips on how to keep themselves sharp in their aviation knowledge, whether it's while waiting to turn 23 because you took your dispatcher practical at age 21 or 22, whether it's getting ready for an airline interview, or whether it's like waiting for a check ride. There's all kinds of reasons why you need to stay sharp on your aviation knowledge, but you have some kind of gap going on. First off though, um, I am a Christian and one of the things I do every day is I read my Bible and I spend time praying. Why in the world am I saying this to you guys? Well, the reason is I care about Christianity and I care about my faith. And because of that, I spend time on it daily. So it's part of who I am. And so with dispatch knowledge, flight knowledge, whatever kind of knowledge that you're trying to digest and make it even more a part of you and who you are, I suggest making a part of your daily habit to review some information every day. So great way to do it. Reading 14 CFR. That sounds horribly boring. But if you want to make it part of who you are, you have to stay into it. Now, I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm not going to even read a whole sub part. I'm going to have daily little bits of information. So how that works for you, I don't know. Maybe Monday is 14 CFR review day. Maybe Tuesday is the day you go to aviationweather.gov. You quiz yourself on Pyreps, TAFs, METARs. Maybe Wednesday is NOTAM review day and you're going to practice reading NOTAMs and all the associated codes. Then maybe on Thursday, we loop back around to reading 14 CFR. And maybe like on Friday, we do a review of what's going on with the FAA's OIS, the basically airspace flow programs stuff. And then Look at other resources you can do, like maybe the school where you went lets you sit in on extra classes. Actually, I let students do this. I've had students come back from dispatch classes in previous years, and they will sit in on our dispatch class during one of our review days, during some topic they want to cover, and they just sit there and they listen and they review. Makes you do something. You can use your ACS, if it's a flight thing you're trying to review for your practical test standard, which aircraft dispatcher is still on that, but use it as your review guide and pick something every day and you're going to go through it. Okay, now another part of this is keeping yourself accountable. That's actually part of my faith. Actually, I get together with a group of other Christians on a regular basis. So for accountability, that helps too. Like find some other people from your class. Or if you all scattered after class or whatever it is ended, then maybe you make your own online review group. I don't know if it's a Facebook meetup. I don't know if it's your group me. I don't really know what you're going to do, but like find a way to get ready every week or maybe bi-weekly. But that keeps you accountable. It really does. And then you can ask each other, how'd your review go this week? What are you guys working on? Okay. Or find a mentor. Mentors also will help sharpen you, push you to do your own review and say, how's it going? What are you doing to prepare? That's really awesome. If you can even better, maybe visit an airline, especially when you want to work for or a job that you want to work for, go to their operations center, go to their training center. I mean, do this with permission, but like job shadowing is fantastic. If you can see what you're going to be doing, especially as a dispatcher in real life, that's like fantastic. And then I put on here, reward yourself. So, you know, you spend time reviewing. Here's another book recommend from me. This is the Aircraft Dispatcher Oral Exam Guide. I've got a slightly older edition, but this is a good thing. And if you review it and you're like, wow, okay, I went through all of chapter four, weather theory and hazards. And, you know, I did pretty good going through all these questions. Yay, me. Okay, cool. Go have your favorite cup of tea. You know, I got some kind of blueberry tea here. I really like it. This mug is not so awesome, but it's from my employer, Laterno. So using my cool mug, having my tea, 
Okay, cool. But like, I don't mean huge reward, reward yourself all the time, but like, okay, have your favorite piece of candy around. Have some stuff around that can reward yourself with something small. Reward yourself by going out for a walk. I don't know. Do something that can be fun. Watch a show. Just don't like binge watch and ruin your accountability. So while we're on the topic of watching stuff and reading stuff, I have a whole video on book recommendations. So check that out. It's mostly geared toward aircraft dispatch. So let's talk about some other things. If you're flight reviewing or something, this book's fantastic. Eric Sloan's weather book. I love this because it is not thick and it is cheap. Sticker price on the back says $10.95. But uh, the pictures in here are great. And he breaks down weather, if that's what you're trying to review, in a super easy way. There's tons of books out there for aviation, though. Like, you can also, you know, and don't tell me you don't have any money or something, because you can go on the FAA's website, and you can download PDFs. This one's a huge PDF. I have it in printed form, but we have the Aviation Weather Handbook. Fantastic download. Some of it is a little out of date. Most of it is fantastic. And you can review this. Half of it is like weather theory. Half of it is how to read various products on aviation weather.gov site and other aviation weather products. But you can also go and like download the FAA Instrument Flying Handbook. Download advisory circulars. You can download advisory circulars all day. Don't just do all that and say, oh, yeah, I downloaded PDFs, but then read them. Ah, read and watch something every day. If what if reading stuff does not work for you, then watch something every day. Again, make it your daily habit. Find some videos that you like on YouTube. There's aviation podcasts out there. If videos don't do it for you, I have tons of videos, but there's some other fantastic channels I really like. I'm going to do a shout out of my friend who operates Prop Hat Cat. If you want to learn more about ATC and how ATC interacts with pilots, he's on TikTok and YouTube. He's got tons of really great ATC content, and I learned stuff from watching his stuff. So, you know, do that, and maybe that's your reward. Not just spending much time on TikTok, but watching something useful, disciplining yourself, and you can even do this by, like, taking notes while you read. Um, I'll give another book shout out. Sorry, I keep reaching over here because my books keep getting farther away. Uh, if you're looking on airline operations, you're trying to get ready and waiting for your airline interview. This is a fantastic textbook, Air Carrier Operations. This is fourth edition. Um, there are other older editions. You can get a second edition or third edition. Ideally, don't get first edition. It's super out of date. But this one is easy to read, and it walks you through regulations from this book. But in a slightly more easy way to understand them. So if you're trying to prepare for airline job stuff, I would check that one out. But don't just read it. Take notes. Interact with it. Write in it. Underline stuff. Put sticky flags on it. Do stuff like that. And this really leads up to my next point. If you've got friends and family who love you, and I hope you do, have some kind of support system, teach them about what you're learning and what you're trying to review. Now, your people might be like, that's kind of boring. But if they love you, I bet they will sit and listen to you teach them about something. Pick something every day to teach them about. Let's say you're trying to get ready for uh, instrument check ride. Teach them about holding patterns. Teach them how to look at a VOR and figure out where you are in relation to the VOR. I've got some videos about that. Teach them about instrument approach charts. If you're getting ready for airline job interviews, again, they're going to ask you about Jeppesen charts. Teach people about Jeppesen charts. But, like, make lessons. You can, like, make your own content to teach other people. Seriously, that's how come I stay current on these things is teaching. And one of the ways I teach is making these videos. So, actually, I love this because, number one, I get better at my job. And, number two, I review the content. And, number three, it actually brings up cool questions where I get to learn more. So, that's even more fantastic. Um, so these are all like really awesome things that you can do. Focus on your weak areas too. You can also like for dispatch, especially take your old flight plans, take weather briefings maybe that you got downloaded and you can like reread them. You can like even redo them if you want to practice this kind of like reviewing things. Now, final idea I had, I don't know if this is a good one, but 
one of my viewers said something on one of my, I made a couple of videos recently about can AI, as in chat GPT, replace aircraft dispatchers? Like can AI interpret regulations? So can AI do it? Well, you could try asking AI to provide you an example oral. Someone told me that they did this uh, recently, but they said that it kind of provided junky information. So once again, you get to check AI. I'm sure you're smarter than AI. And so you could check AI's work and take the answers and be like, does this actually make sense? Along those lines, while you're like teaching others, another thing that would be fantastic to teach others if you're like doing aircraft dispatcher waiting or uh, airline job prep interview, uh, derived alternate minimums, take some of your own flight plans, change up maybe the alternate minimums by incorporating real world weather, incorporating real world notums. Maybe your Saturday review topic is op specs and applied with notums and like just challenge yourself and make it like a daily habit. Once again, you could use like AI oral I don't know if I recommend it because I just don't know what kind of content you'd get, but I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments. What did I forget? I'm sure I forgot something that you've done to stay sharp on your aviation knowledge while you are waiting for something. Job interview, you know, your knowledge test, your check ride, whatever it is, you're trying to stay current till you turn 23 as an aircraft dispatcher and you can actually go out and become an aircraft dispatcher. What are you guys doing to stay sharp? Thanks for watching Aviation 101 with Laura. I hope you have a fantastic day.